Hey, love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And I hope everybody enjoyed their Valentine's Day. I know I surely did. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, please give me a big thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you feel like you resonate with my video and enjoy what you have heard, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. And I always make sure I reply to every comment that I get. And thank you once again for the support. And for my returning subs, thank you so much, fam, for the love and support and stopping by to see what I'm up to today. And namaste as usual. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet for you to come. And thank you once again for the love and support. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101, dealing with awakening signs and phases as a Helga empath. Today, I'm listening to six hours relaxing spa music, uh, calming meditation, massage music. And I will put that in the link down below in case you like to listen to relaxing music like you're getting a spa. You're at a spa getting a nice massage. That would be nice, a nice massage. Get you all, you know, all your muscles all unloosened and everything like that. But anyways, I don't want to get into that because that'll make me just like, ugh, gotta go ahead and book me an appointment. But anyways, the awakening phases, it's just it's bad enough as it is as as is us as individuals. We are going through different awakening phases. We are going through different things of our lives that has something that has shocked us, like slapped us to, to reality and let us know, hey, it's time to awake. You know, we need to dive deep, grow, learn. You know, you're going through a lot. And, but with you being an Hayoka, it's 10 times harder because it's bad enough as it is. The way we, we add, like, fuel to the fire sometimes. And it's just like we, we're we playing Russian roulette when it comes to certain things. And it's bad enough as it is when you're going through a awakening phase. And it, it can be very tragic at times. It can be very heartfelt, heartbreaking, whatever you got to deal with. But dealing with that is an Ahayoka empath takes a lot of strength. And it will make you sometimes feel like you're going crazy. And I don't know if any of you guys felt that way where any of you love bugs. I'm trying to get politically correct instead of calling everybody guys. Um, going through many of those different things at a time is like nerve wracking. <laughs> it's really nerve wracking because it's just like it's bad enough it is. You're going through your own stuff and then you got to deal with outside sources at the same time. And then it's just the way that we handle things anyway is just... I don't understand why we can be so complex at times to where I don't even understand myself on why do I do this? Why do I sit up here and have to go through the things the roughest way possible? <laughs> the roughest way possible. Sorry, one of my candles, it blew out. And so all the smoke is coming towards my screen. So in case you see some smoke, that's what that is. But... You know, going through all those different things, you know, it, it makes you reflect on a lot of things that you need to change, a lot of things that you need to enhance, a lot of things that you need to improve on. And it can be a headache at times. It can even be a messed up thing on your on your relationships. It can be with family members. It can be with coworkers. It can be with friends. It can be with boyfriends. It can be with girlfriends. It it, it can just be with yourself. <laughs> it can be with yourself. And you try to understand it like I, I try to understand going through these things and it, it can be like you feel like you're in your own personal hell at sometimes. Like, are you going to ever wake up? Like, this has got to be a dream. Like, it can't get any worse than this. And there, and that, I mean, sometimes you should never say that. <laughs> you know, like thinking, that yeah, could it get any worse than this. And then you, and then pops up something else. So it, it's just like, I try to understand these things and going, you know, learning about more and more about hey, of the empaths is just like very informative. You know, it's just like we 
we have to go through these rough roads so we can be a teacher to amongst millions and millions of people which is like we signed up for this stuff many millenniums years ago it's just like I, sometimes the way I have to go through things and the things that I go through it's like I want to kick my own self in my butt like why did you sign up for this why <laughs> why did you sign up for this because I feel like whatever it is that I'm doing we've been doing this stuff for years and years and years of time but I think this is the last time we have to actually go through it I don't know what that feeling is I don't know why I feel that way but I feel like it's the last time we have to go through it because it seems like this year it has to be that most like kick in the gut like smack in the face like this is what's going on with you this is you know the truth on things that might not be so pretty but it's making you face it anyway even if you have ran from it for years and try to suppress it is coming back <laughs> for you to fix whatever you need to be fixed so um, I don't know if that resonates with anybody you know if you do feel that way if you feel like sometimes you're in your own personal hell and you're not alone you're not alone and you're going to get through it no matter how tough it might seem you're going to get through it so don't fret just meditate think positive even though it can be the most darkest day just think positive because there's always a lesson in every day that, that you live and I will see you later I'll keep you you love bugs in my prayers is I hope you do the same for me drop me a line or two like and subscribe I love the positive feedback. Much love and light to everyone. Namaste. And many blessings to you are yet to come. Peace and be wise.